It's just a safety measure, particularly for camper vans with gas bottles. Um, obviously, if one catches fire, you don't want the whole lot going plump. Well, that's Backpackers Camping Area. Maximum two people per tent. And there's a little sign here that says motorhomes. So I guess we just roll on in and pick a spot. Well, that's a nice little spot. We've just parked up Charlie and going for a bit of an explore down on the sand dunes. It's actually a really nice spot. The um, road on the way in sort of made it look as though we're going to be a bit out in the boonies. Well, well I mean we are, but it kind of gave the impression we were just going to be sort of in the middle of a paddock type deal, but this is actually really quite nice. One, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. Chin! Well, you've got the longest thumbs in the peanut. <laughs> you premature peanut clutch. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, I heard you and you pulled out. <laughs> it's a peanut <laughs> starting to get a bit of a sunrise here now we are just going to pack everything up and whip up to Cape Prianga to the lighthouse and see if we get the rest of the sunset the road in and out of here is a little bit gnarly so wasn't too keen on doing it in the dark but here's our little lineup that we had last night it's really quite cool Staying in the Freedom Camping, we had a group of kids last night, I think we're playing Spotlight in the Dark, which, I mean, although they were a little bit rowdy, it was actually quite fun, and they quietened down quite early, so it wasn't a problem. There's actually no park ranges or anything here um, for crowd control or anything, but um, yeah, it was a really great night. Everybody's very respectful of everybody else, and had a really good time. 
So hopefully we'll get up to Cape Rianga Lighthouse and Adam's going to try and put his drone up and get some footage there. So spot you later. 